Hello and welcome to a very special Gundam Battle Operation 2 featuring the mass production type Z Gundam. Oh, a unit from the Z MSV. This unit was intended as a mass production type of the ever well known Zeta Gundam. However, it was never actually put into production. There might be a few units floating around from what the lore says, but we have to take that with a grain of salt. It does not have the transformation capabilities, and as you can see, the head is completely different. In game, it is a 550 cost ground and space capable general with a ballistic resistance of 17, a beam resistance of 27, fairly impressive at this cost, a melee resistance of 16, a range strength of 30, a melee strength of 15, a movement speed of a nice 130, and a thrust gauge of 75. For parts, we got close range of 14, medium of 16, and long range of 10. Now, this unit does not have an alternative main weapon, so we have the mass production type ZGMBR. It is a ammo type weapon, but uh, it can do a little bit of stagger. It's a nice little weapon. There you go. Those are all the stats for it. It's pretty decent. Um, we have the mass production type ZG Beam Saber. It's a wiffle bat. We got the waist mounted beam gun times two. They work a lot like some of the other uh, units that have such. You stop, you fire multiple shots. It's really best used against toppled targets, I'd say. We have the mass production type ZG MBR discharge. This is a chargeable weapon, which will, of course, use its entire heat rating, but it fires one continuous beam that can do a lot of damage and can cause a bit of stagger as you do so. Then we have the mass production type Z Gundam LBS. It is exactly the same as the Zeta Gundams. So if you're used to the Zeta Gundam for that little switch between the two melees, you got it. For skills, we have, oh boy, Leg Shock Absorber Level 2, Quick Boost Level 2, Emergency Evasion Level 2, Flight Control Program Level 3, Anti-Blast Stabilizer Level 1, Frontline Support System Level 2, High Performance Balancers, High Spec and Back Level 2, Forced Injector Level 2, very nice, Melee Combo Controller, Special back add-on buffer level 2. That's a 15% decrease in damage when you get shot in the back, which is nice. Pursuit range aux program. Holy cow. Um, thrust based fire control system and the DV stabilizer control. It's got a couple nice programs on there. Um, of course, it's really good against toppled targets, putting some of that um, sweet range damage into him. But my opinions of this suit is it's pretty good. As goofy as that freaking <laughs> head is and how much it reminds me of the uh, transforming bike armor from a certain other main, or, uh, anime... It's a good unit. It's got some decent options. It's quick on its feet. It's if you get it, I definitely suggest giving it a shot around this cost. It's good. It's steady. It can do a lot of damage and it doesn't need flex tape. So let's see how it does in the match to come. Hello and welcome to the match everybody. Hope you're having a fantastic day and hope you're looking forward to the weekend as I struggle with getting some of this stuff set up. Um, when I got this unit, I was not sure what I thought of it. I looked at its goofy little head and went, oh no. Because I'd gotten it just randomly. Um, so I wasn't really sure what to think. But you know what? All in all, I actually quite like this unit. It's suitably aggressive and it's got some decent talent. So we're going to start every NASCAR match. I mean every Arctic base match like we always do chasing on another round like goofs so i see the gant eos i'm going to come after him but of course the railing got me 
So we're going for a little bit of extra damage into him from behind. Because that's how you always do the damage. So I'm going to charge up the Omega Rifle. We're going to catch him a little bit, but he wisely was able to put a rocket into me. We'll get him with the stun, but not quite make contact with freaking melee. So I'm going to turn over here. I'm going to help my team. I'm going to accidentally clash with my dude there. But you got to do what you got to do. Whoop! We're going to catch the Eos there. Get him with one hit. Not the other, but he was going to able to push through and smack us down. The Eos can be still be a beast in combat. And he's going to back off. We're going to push a little bit ahead and pursue to a degree. Um, we're going to just go ahead and go after him and try to get rid of him as fast as we can. Our team's going to gut him down. And we're going to drop down here just in case uh, the guy behind us uh, was decided to be a little bit more aggressive. So we're switching over to the MBR. And we're going to charge it up again. I'm trying to get as much use out of it because I tend to be pretty bad at using these. I'm not going to get the shot in on him. But I'm trying to, to make sure I get some use out of it. So I see our... Um, oh, I forget when this the Psycho Doga. And I'm trying to get a shot on him. But he's being fairly clever at the moment. So I see one pushing. I'm going to drop down. And we're going to wait for it. And then we're going to fire and catch him. Then catch him with the stun, come in with the melee, back off, and, well, we're going to use them waste and take him out. So, this unit has a really good, well-rounded uh, number of items. So, we're going to catch the Gant Eos, knock him down, but we're going to maneuver back. We don't got the health to be just tanking shots. We see uh, our friend here. We're going to fire into him, get a little bit of that sweet damage into him. The uh, other mass production types going to try to come in. We're going to get aggressive, and we're going to explode. First death. So we're going to spawn in at the home base after three did one heck of a epic last stand. And uh, they're going to try to do the usual gather around in... Uh, gun line us but that's not going to work out too well because we're being fairly aggressive on them uh, the Dresden's going to uh, bail out to the top uh, rope or come around give him a shot from that side and then finish him off with the waist that's how it usually goes in most relationships but hey that's where we're going to go so we're going to push. We see number three is under assault. We're going to hang out for a second. Then we're going to put the charged mega beam into use. Come in. Roll for some reason. <laughs> Dang it. And then fire. Our guys are crawling. Oh, there we go. We got the kill. Shazam. We see a guy spawn behind us. We weren't quick enough to commit a war crime. Dang it. And we're going to put a little bit of pressure on him. Let number uh, three get nice and aggressive. Fire, miss. We're going to push a little bit on the support, but what we really want to do is deal with that Dresden because he is more of a danger than the support is at the moment. We see the Eos popping in. I'm going to back up my guy a little bit, but we're going to fall back, and we're going to use this to fight from. I'm going to throw some of that damage in there and get some more of that damage in roll out of the eos's attack not be able to push him because uh, this is not a good position to be in we're going to move up here let him get after that one guy turn around because number five is not letting them have it put a little bit of damage on that leg we're going to roll out again we're just trying to survive at the moment catch him with that throw some of the uh, Oh gosh, the waste on him. See the support coming in on... Or no, the Dresden coming in on us. Wait for him. Fire. Not quite get the amount of damage that we want, but we're going to... Well, help take him out to a degree. Wonder why that support decided to walk by us. Knock him down. Uh, the base enemy base is going to explode. And we're still alive somehow. We see their support there. We're going to miss our shot, switch over to the charge rifle, 
and get taken out by accident. So we're going to spawn in at A. We see our team's cleaned up a good chunk of them, so we're going to go ahead and push forward, charge the, uh, the MBR, and just get a shot in on that raid, just to annoy him more than anything. We're going to roll back to get a shot in on the Dresden, fall off because the railing is so well made in this map. Hold our shots, fire into him, and just help get rid of him as quickly as we can. And we see that their uh, support is having a bit of a nasty day. That's unfortunate. And let's see. There's going to be some tradition falling. We're going to fire, take him out, get interrupted. But we're going to push a little bit more. Fire into his shield. Keep using some of that to just push him a little bit. You want to always put a little bit of pressure on guys. Take him out. See our good friend the Eos and... Head and well, not get the finish on him. So, the team's being good and aggressive. We got a heck of a lead at the moment, but you can always get dumb and something weird happens. So, we're going to push, throw a bit of that uh, charged rifle down the, uh, the range, and we're just going to kind of push them off a bit so they can't get any last-minute real point surges. We're going to push up here. Come back down to push the Dresden just a bit. Fire into the support shield. Maneuver over here. Now I see the one guy getting attacked from there. We're going to come in and we're going to try to help him out as much as we can. Throw some shots in and there's the match. Let's see how we did. There's our pose. It's okay. So one board position and first place. Thanks for joining me. Bye-bye.